regardless of where we stand uh, on this con contentious issue, um, we did take an oath to our Constitution as a con condition to do this job. Uh, are you familiar with where our state Constitution stands on this, what you're, what you're proposing? Please go ahead and tell okay. me what you're thinking about. Okay, um, so Article 1, uh, Section 2, the last sentence, it states very clearly, nothing in this section shall be construed to grant or secure any right related to abortion or the funding thereof. So, I mean, it seems pretty black and white. What, I, wouldn't what you're talking about have to be a constitutional amendment? Hi, Madam Secretary. Um, I'd like to pose the same question that I posed to Rep. Kassar earlier, seeing as you administer our oaths. Um, how does this square with Article 1, Section 2, uh, the last sentence? You are familiar with it, I'm, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The language is, let me just read it. So uh, it says, nothing in this section shall be construed to grant or secure any right relating to abortion or the funding thereof. So how do we square that with what, I mean, you administer oaths. I'm not sure that the administration of oaths has to do with what you're just quoting. It's the, the administration it's the of you know, the administration of oaths to protect our constitution is 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 a is an administrative duty of the secretary of state's office to protect our constitution. That's yes. the oath. And and actually ensuring that access to rights is equitable and just is absolutely essential to making sure that the constitution and the rights that are prescribed inside of it are available to all. It says specifically it not it does not grant any right relating to abortion. So, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but you are a, a, a prominent person in the state you, dealing with uh, administering oaths to support and uphold our Constitution. That's, a, that's my point. That's it. I want to know okay. how it squares. Okay. And I don't see the dissonance, and I don't see the, the issue. You don't see this as needing yep. a, a constitutional amendment to be passed? No. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Treasurer, you heard Rep. Quattrochi's question. To yes. Uh, how would you respond to that? I mean, because yeah. that, that seems like a little bit of a gray area, so. Yeah. My, my response would be this. That section of the state constitution does not forbid the right to an abortion. It says that there is not a constitutional uh, granting or limitation of it. What the General Assembly did in 2019 is put a right into state statute. So there's nothing in the Constitution that prevented the General Assembly from taking that action in 2019. And you know that law has been on the books now for three years. It has not been overturned by any court. And uh, it is constitutional, is my view. But you, as a representative, take an oath to the Constitution. Yeah, the Constitution, the state Constitution, does not deny the right to an abortion. Right. Yes, our, our rep, uh, Quattro, two, please. Quickly. Quickly. Mr. Treasurer. Um, Article 6, Section 1 says that the Constitution shall be the supreme law of the state. Any law inconsistent therewith shall be void. Yeah. It's black and white. I would suggest, uh, again, if the uh, Constitutional Convention that wrote that language had intended for there to be a ban on abortion, they would have said that abortion shall not be permitted We're in not state. talking about a that ban right not, now. Yeah, that's not, I mean. Correct, we're not talking no, about a ban no right now. There is no language in the Constitution that states that abortion cannot be permitted. I'm not gonna argue with him. Okay, thank you very much, appreciate that. <laughs> okay.